This is the video of a tiny creature eating a giant sugar cube. It's one of the best videos I've ever caught during a video shoot. I'm gonna show you how I got it, but first, let's have a look at the machine that's gonna do it for us. This is the Andenstar Point and Shoot Digital Microscope. It has a technical model name of AD203, but end of the day, it's a point and shoot digital microscope. Hands in the air. Let me give you some backstory here. Now, it might come off looking like a cheap scam gimmick toy that you might see in one of the shady ads when you're watching those fake life hack videos on channels like 5 Minute Hacks or Blossom, but trust me, it is nothing like that. Andenstar has been actually making quite good quality digital microscopes for a couple of years now, mainly for soldering, but being a digital microscope, it can't help but serve multiple purposes. This is Irfan from my booth. Let's have a look at the package and then dive straight in to have a closer look, literally, some of the samples I have lined up for you guys today. This is the box, plain and simple. Now inside, first off, we have the user manual and then below the foam pad, we have the microscope itself, a charging cable, still using micro USB somehow. There's a carrying pouch, a small lanyard and finally a 32 GB memory card. That's helpful. The device itself is quite sturdy, looks okay. The belt doesn't feel too cheap or plasticky, but doesn't feel too strong either. Now the handle splits in half to reveal the four inch screen, which is quite helpful, you know, having a screen on the device itself and it can rotate 360 degrees. Now this actually looks like a camcorder from the olden days. Never had one, just used to see rich people using it for birthday parties. Anyways, there's a whole bunch of buttons here for the control. Halfway through the barrel, we have the focus wheel. And then at the end, we have eight LEDs engulfing the two megapixels camera sensor in the middle. And when you press and hold the power button for a couple of seconds, it comes to life. Uh, this thing has a 2000 milliamp hours battery, so it should give us a good hour or two of playing time. Now, if you pry this part open, we can see the charging port and the memory card slot, which I'll go ahead and load up with the 32 GB memory card that came with it. So the best part about this microscope is that you can walk up to anything, hold it right up against it, and there you go, instant magnification. Now look at how clear the image is. Even though I've seen it a hundred times probably, fabric still fascinates me under a microscope. Look at how giant the individual strands of thread look, and it looks like each individual strand is made up of like dozens and dozens of smaller and thinner strands. It just looks amazing. Now the magnification is highest when you're right on top of the object but sometimes that's too much. Like in this case, it is so magnified, I can see my sweat pores on my palm, but I just want to see my palm prints from a little far. The good thing is I can pull away and refocus. And there it is. Now you don't find this commonly in handheld microscopes. When you move away, that's it, no more clear image. Not with this, you can move quite a distance from the subject and still focus to have a decent image at that distance. Now, as per the specs, it does a maximum optical magnification of 28 times or 28X, whatever you wanna call it. And additionally, you can press the arrow keys to add another extra 3X digital zoom, which technically takes it to 84 times magnification. And frankly speaking, 28X is quite a modest number. Usually these scam products will boast of numbers like 1000X, 2000X without breaking a sweat. And on Star is saying this is 28X and this 28X is way better than like 100, 200, 400X that I've tested before. You can check out some of my old videos. I've tested loads of them. Things used to surprise me back then. In retrospect, I might have been a bit too generous with some of my reviews. Anyways, you can take pictures uh, with the camera button or click the M button to switch to video mode and then press it once again to play back your recorded videos and pictures. It records up to 1080p, so that's good. There's a microphone in it as well in case you want to document videos with commentary uh, in case you discover a new species of microorganisms or an insect maybe and uh, there is a speaker too. Additionally, there's a ton of settings for video and picture mode separately like the resolution, the quality, white balance, exposure, stabilization. I mean this looks and feels like the real deal. Even the scene is quite clear and crisp. It's not grainy and low quality and low res like I've seen on some of the products before. Now, if your hand is shaky, there is a spot here for the tripod screw, so you can set it up like this. And now just slide your subjects underneath and use it like a tabletop microscope. While you enjoy some of my magnificent macro photography, let me point out that the picture and video quality is quite fine. It's not a cheap gimmick and it's not cheap either. I found it on Amazon for 119 US dollars plus delivery. The colors are quite good 
with auto exposure it adjusts quite beautifully and relatively quickly you can adjust the light level of the leds by this wheel uh, which is in front of it or turn them off completely but why would i do that well to see things that emit light themselves like a monitor look at this these are the pixels of my laptop display which is 1080p now each pixel is made up of three colors red green and blue which you can see clearly hence rgb this is the display of an iphone 15 pro now when you look at the display you think it is so high resolution that there's no way you can see the individual pixels on it but well with the help of this microscope you can what's next let me show you a ballpoint pen tip Here is how red sand looks under the scope. Notice how most of the particles look more like crystals with a reflective surface rather than opaque rocks which I've seen before with white sand under microscopes. Next I raided my kitchen and found dry coriander. Once they were under I realized it wasn't actually that interesting. What was interesting though is being able to change the depth of magnification in a relatively stable way by turning the wheel while the subject is under it helps focus on the different parts of a subject which has some height to it now it won't be a my booth microscope video if there wasn't a dry dead mosquito somewhere in there this one has been air drying in my mosquito killer lamp for quite a few days now and now the video you all have been waiting for ladies and gentlemen feast your eyes on this ant feasting on a sugar crystal just like wildlife photographers have to wait for hours or days or months sometimes to get a good shot, I had to wait and run around some ants for a full 10 minutes before I had the idea to sprinkle some sugar and wait for them to come for it. Look at how it is trying to get it between its fangs. It's fascinating to watch honestly. And it wasn't just this small ant that I got. I also got a bigger one trying to get some other gunk off the floor and it was putting all its might into it. It did get a bit angry at me for hovering over its head, I guess, and uh, it made a run towards me, but it cooled down quickly and uh, got back to work. I think this might be the best piece of footage I've ever gotten with a microscope, and keep in mind that I did this holding the scope in my hand, chasing them on the ground with one hurt knee, so the microscope has to get credit for making it easy. It's actually a great tool if you think about it. I mean, if you are into gold or jewelry or you want to read small indentations or markings on things like drill bits or nuts and bolts, I mean, watch repair, or if you do a lot of soldering, coin collection, stamp collection, I mean, the applications are unlimited, frankly. All right, you get the picture. Now, this is a great device. I liked Andon Star before and I still like them. I actually have another one of their big uh, digital microscopes, the one with the pincers and everything, which you can use for... Uh, soldering and you know working with microchips and stuff the only complaints uh, i have with this are one the focus wheel could have been a little bit easier to roll because when you're holding it and then trying to do this sometimes it kind of get a bit shaky it is very smooth don't get me wrong but it could have been a little bit easier to turn uh, and then the the screen is a bit flimsy this could have been a little bit more sturdier other than that the build is quite good it's not very cheap and plasticky the function and the detail settings are great the picture and video quality is really, really impressive in this price bracket. It is a helpful tool to have around and I believe it makes a very good present as well, especially for macro enthusiasts and kids. If you have kids who are looking at screens anyway the whole day, give them this. Might as well uh, learn something for a screen for once. If you want to see something under this microscope, if you've always been curious at how something looks but you never had the chance, let me know in the comments below. I might uh, make short videos or reels doing that or maybe even a full video if there are enough comments. That's it for now guys. If you enjoyed watching this video, hit the like button below, share and subscribe to my booth and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss out on any new content. If you want to watch similar videos, they'll be on the screen as thumbnails, click on them and watch them or go to my YouTube channel page for more. You can also follow me on Insta and Facebook, links in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.